It's Ask Ritu. Thanks so much for sending in your questions across social media. Keep them coming. I love to hear from you. Today's question that I'd like to answer goes like this. How does your diversity and anti-racism work affect you personally? What do you do about it? So on a positive note, I have found that doing diversity work for a living has been so awesome. It's, it's so enriching and it's so amazing to spend time with people, to hear their stories, to learn from them. And it's been really healing for me as well to be able to talk about my experiences with racism and sexism and more other forms of oppression. And find strength and power in the collective. And so it's been, it's been such a gift for me in my life. At the same time, doing this work, to be honest, is really challenging at times as well. And it does, frankly, take a personal toll on my life. Um, first of all, I experience a lot of heaviness around it. Like, it makes me really sad when I hear that people are hurt by forms of oppression and I carry that with me. But the other thing that I just recently realized is I also carry a lot of fear with me because I consistently hear about the lived experience with oppression from others and I worry about my own safety. So for example, a while ago I was in Paris uh, on vacation for a weekend with my partner and we found ourselves, as it happens, in in the middle of a political protest and all around us were hundreds and hundreds of police officers. I mean, uh, police officers with machine guns and also the riot squad. And rather than feeling safe in the presence of all of this police, I became really activated. I was really stressed. I became really anxious. And afterwards, when I unpacked it with uh, my partner, Santosh, I, I realized that I was afraid, not just of being trampled in a protest, but more importantly, I was afraid of the police. And I think that this is one of the byproducts of doing this work, that I carry fear about things that um, I didn't realize I was holding. But the thing that I do to manage around this are two strategies that I use for everything in my life, to live well and to be mentally well. And one is that I surround myself with people who I call my clouds, and I've done a blog about this, which you can check out at RithuBasin.com, people who are like these big, white, fluffy piles of love that I can fall into to feel safe. And then the second thing I do is I use a lot of self-care techniques to keep healthy and to feel really good about myself. And again, I've written a lot about this. I've talked about it in other videos in the past, which you can check out at rithubasin.com. In a, in, in a nutshell, though, this work is so rewarding, and I'm so glad I do it. And having clouds and self-care tools to use makes it all so rewarding. So thanks for sending in your question. Keep all your questions coming across social media. Follow me on social media. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my e-newsletter at rithubasin.com. Thanks for watching.